So I'm in the Range Rover P400E Vogue SE FEV. Now FEV stands for Plug-in Hybrid Electric Vehicle. So it has a two litre four cylinder petrol engine, which pumps out 404 horsepower, and it also has an electric motor. It has 141 horsepower. Now that electric motor will do 20 miles on a recharge. It's advertised at 31, but it's really more like 20, especially in cold weather. But you can plug it into your garage, any normal outlet, and it will recharge in eight hours, or on a super fast charger, under three hours. That means you can pootle about without having to worry about so filling up with petrol and in fact a game I like to play is to see how many weeks I can go without ever having to visit a petrol forecourt. Now I've been driving this for a week already and doing 60 mile trips here and there and I haven't filled up with petrol yet which is just awesome. It's a very comfortable car to drive. The outside is huge, it is big um, but reassuringly safe for that and the interior is also very large. In fact it's like driving a country house around Though with the black leather interior here, it's a bit like uh, one of those specialist country clubs that caters to a certain type of gentleman. But it is very comfortable. Now these seats are also huge and will take a much larger man than me um, and adjustable via little controls here on the door. It's got three plush seats in the back as well. And then of course there's the boot or brake, um, which opens both top and bottom very fast indeed from a little click on the key. And in the boot, you can put a whole uh, whole uh, pack of dogs. Now, it is comfortable to drive. The acceleration is good, especially sort of around the 50 to 70 mile an hour mark. The steering is mushy, but then of course, in an all wheel drive car that can go over any sort of terrain like boulders, and it has a boulder setting, you don't want to feel every bump. And it seems to know where you want to go without too much input anyway. Now it retails at £94,000, which is in the upper echelons of a luxury car. There is a lot of competition in the hundred to £150,000 mark, but it is really the brand name you go to when you think of a luxury SUV. And that's part of the reason the exterior hasn't changed that much, because a certain audience want a particular car, one that they trust and is reliable. And Range Rover have always had that cachet of status and success without the bling and the flash. So it's priced about right. We enjoy the car a lot. So among other wonderful things in this car, you have the Touch Pro Duo screens here, which are nice and solid. And as you can see, You've got seat heating, which is very easy to put on. One to three there, extremely effective and very fast. Now in here, you also have extremely effective deep fridge. So you can put a bottle of champagne in there or three or four bottles of water. And when turned on, that gets cold very fast indeed. The seats are a bit like bean bags, very soft comfortable and a bit mushy but they can be adjusted to any shape.